Now let's discuss the concessioning of the Asaba Airport. Joining us live from Asaba, the Delta State Capital, is the Secretary to the State Government, Mr. Achie Duebi. A pleasure having you with us. Thank you very much for having me. Now, what's the essence of having a concession plan in the first place? I think, first of all, we need to just quickly look at the history of the Asaba International Airport. As you all know, this, is, this was an airport that was conceived and constructed by the administration of my mother Brown. And shortly before we came into office in 2015, the airport was downgraded to a Category 3 airport. So this meant that it could only take a smaller aircraft. And so we then had to work uh, towards upgrading the, the facilities at the airport. So things like a um, new runway or an upgrade of the runway, um, excavating the hill, the approach to the airport for better visibility and instrument light, like landing system and then also night, night landing uh, ground lighting systems as well to, uh, for night flights. Now, so having done all of that, the, air, the airport was then created uh, to a Category 6 airport. The issue then was what do we do with the airport, knowing fully well that uh, running airports are not at all. But also more importantly is that Asaba is a fast growing city. When you look at it, 30 years um, since the creation of the state and also proximity to Indonesia and New, which are commercial uh, cities. And so we had to think of the best approach, working with the private sector to develop the airport so that we can create it into uh, an export of, uh, an export hall for agricultural and agriculture and also um, uh, as for passenger traffic as well. So the whole idea is to create a survival national airport into a hall. So what other kind of development is this concession expected to bring, not just to the terminal, but to the fast-growing city of Asaba, in your words? Well, the first thing is employment. Employment, uh, where a lot of Deltans will be employed, also is uh, commerce as well. Um, but if you, if you, the structure of the transaction is such that, uh, aside from the terminal building, we're also looking at uh, other facilities such as cargo. We, we intend to have uh, to introduce cargo uh, trade there so that we can export things from here. We're also looking at uh, a hotel and a conference center, an industrial park and office facilities, tank farms as well, and then also. Uh, an MRO, which is a hangar for maintenance and um, repair of a whole of, of aircraft. So we expect that this, with all these facilities here, with the investments that are coming in and the revenues that would accrue here, there would be a lot of, uh, it would stimulate a lot of things uh, for the benefit of Delta. Are other critical assets like the runway and the taxiway in the concessioning plan? Oh yes, most, most definitely. It's, um, it's all encompassing everything within the, the presence of, of, of the airport. And also, there's also um, um, additional plenty of land there for, for the expansion plan that I just highlighted. Apart from the Asaba Airport, is the Delta State government planning to concession other crucial infrastructure to boost revenue in the state? Well, it's not just concession. It's, it's partnering with the private sector. Yes, we, we settled for a um, concession arrangement for, for the SFI Airport, but the other things that we're looking at um, in partnership with uh, private sector uh, players. So we have the Kuala Industrial Park, which um, we, we started a um, work on. It's, it's an industrial park that located somewhere around um, Kuala due to the proximity of, of gas. And so we tend to have uh, industries there, such as, uh, well, an anchor investor like the ceramic manufacturer. There's also the agro-industrial park in Abashuku. Uh, and then there's the modular refinery also in Kuala. There's uh, the rest and trailer park somewhere around Umunili. And um, also a blended fertilizer plant. So there, there are a lot of private sector initiatives that we're, we're working on um, here, but not necessarily concession, because it can be any, um, the, the transaction dynamics can be different. But the most important thing is realizing that government can do it all and you need to partner with the private sector to bring in an investment, create employment, and create commercial activities as well. 
The Secretary to the Delta State Government, Mr. Chie Duebi, many thanks for sharing your thoughts with us on the program. Thank you. Thank you very much.